Hello everybody, I'm George and today I'm going to show you the basics of Cubic Pro. To start with our model, we first need some files from, my, from the .minecraft folder. To get access to the .minecraft folder, go to your search field and type percent app data percent, press enter and open the .minecraft folder. Um, next we're going to go to our versions select the newest snapshot or a version above Minecraft 1.8 then we're going to open the archive and open assets, Minecraft, textures, blocks I'm going to make a 3D model for the ladder so I'm searching for ladder.png this is the ladder as you can see I'm just going to drag and drop this PNG onto my desktop, go back to folders and open the models folder, blocks, and here are all the 3D versions of the blocks in the .json format, so we're going to search for ladder once again, and drag and drop this to the desktop. That's all the files we need. As you can see, the ladder JSON is only here to tell Minecraft what texture or what model to use. Okay, next up we're going to open Cubic Pro. Okay, I really recommend using the Material Manager because it makes modeling really easy. So we're going to import all the PNG files from our desktop into the Material Manager. If you don't have a material manager in your Cubic Pro, check for an update. I think in beta 0 0.6 it was added. Okay, one last one. So then we're going to go to Tools, Preferences, and enable under MISC the Use Texture in 3D View. This will um, enable the 3D texture we just put into the material manager in the view down there. Next up we're going to once again import the PNG files but this time not into the material manager but into Cubic Pro itself. So as you can see on the top left right here we have the top view of our model here we have the left view of our model and in the left corner we have the front view. Okay, I'm going to reset the camera to default. So here where the cursor is now is the front view of the model and here is the back view. So next up we're going to add a new cube and by left clicking it you can drag and drop it wherever you want. If you right click it you can change the size of it. So we're going to make the size this big right on top of our PNG. And then we're going to position it wherever we want to. So the ladder model of course has to be on the back side of the blocks. So it's on the front side of the block where it's aligned to, if it makes sense. Um, I'm going to make my model a bit bigger so it looks a bit cooler. So as you can see now we have the 3D model preview down here with our texture and as you can see there are some missing textures. That's because it's right now in the easy UV mapping. So we are going to align the textures ourselves. We are just going to click on our cube and on the right hand side we are going to press on UV um, this window will pop up um, here you can change the UV for the top view here for the down view and here for the left and the right view and as you can see here's our problem it's taking the texture from here when there's not really a texture for the letter so we're going to drag and drop this onto our model I'm going to drag and drop it onto the left side because that's where my model is. And when, as you can see now, if I press OK, it's going to change and we have a great model. Let's do the same thing again for the other side.
drag and drop it to the back of the model again. UV, select the, the parts of the PNG we want to use. Okay, and now we are going to add the steps. Drag and drop again with the left cursor and right click to change the size. I'm going to put the steps like this. You can put it down further or up however you want. Again I'm going to use the UV, change the UV Okay. Um, if you're making your model, I would recommend to uh, model every step for its own. But I'm just going to copy the one I already have done, so this video doesn't get too long. To copy a cube, you just click on it with a left click, hold down Alt, and click again. And as you can see, it's going to copy the cube. And as you can see, it's also copying the UV mapping. So every model or every part of this will look the same then. Okay. Here we have a 3D ladder model. Next up, we're going to go to the edit section if we are done with our model. Give it a name, I'm going to call it ladder model. I don't want the model to be 3D rendered in the inventory. And we also don't need a random offset on X, Y or Z axis. Um, on the comment you can put whatever you want. For example, model by Georg Schmo. Press OK. Then you're going to um, save your file. As you can see it already has the name. And this is a .bdc3d file and um, this is a known file from Cubic Pro. Um, if you're exporting your file as uh, .bdc 3D, you can open it later on with Cubic Pro again and change your model if you want. Next up we're going to export our file as a .json and that's basically it for Cubic Pro. Then we are going to have a ladder model .json and our ladder model cubic format right here. Um, then you're going to need to make a new resource pack. I made a, a pack here. I'm going to put the link for the download in the description so you can easily try it out. You go into go into assets, Minecraft models, blocks. And right here you're going to put the original ladder.json But as you remembered hopefully the name for the model in here is ladder But our .json is called ladder model. So we're going to change the name to ladder model so Minecraft knows which model to use Okay Simply save this, then open meshes and drag and drop your .json you just created in Cubic Pro. Next up we're going to put our new resource pack into the resource packs folder. That's again in the .minecraft folder, so again search for app data, press enter and again go into the .minecraft folder, resource packs and simply drag and drop your pack here. Then we're going to start up Minecraft and see if our model is working. <coughs> My launch is looking a bit weird because I'm recording this on a Parallels desktop on Mac. Okay, let's wait for Minecraft to start up completely. And let's get into a new world. As you can see, I already have selected the resource pack right here and as you can see we have a beautiful 3d model of the ladder and as you can also see it's not 3d rendered in the inventory because we didn't check that 
Okay guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.